Well, good morning, Calvary. Thanks for tuning in for your word for the day today. Hope that you're having a great day. You know, have you ever woken up uh, on the wrong side of the bed, just angry for no good reason, uh, or just struggled of, uh, of always feeling like you're at your threshold of anger? This is something that we all experience. We all find ourselves in those days where anger is just the thing that's leading our day. And, and maybe that's not a day for you. Maybe that's a week or a season of, of many weeks. But, but anger is something that we all have to interact with. We all have to figure out how we manage it. And, and as we think about anger, I can't help but think of, of the character Hulk in the Marvel movies. And I love the, the newer iteration of the Hulk. And, and one of those early introductions, they're all trying to understand how Bruce Banner stayed normal. He didn't explode, how he managed his anger. And, and you have that, that notable line in the movies of, I'm always angry. That's his secret, that he just stays angry. But he doesn't act on it. And there's, there's a lesson there of maybe not that we should always stay angry, but that there's a difference between being angry and acting in anger. And today as we look at Ephesians chapter 4, we see some instruction from Scripture on how we interact with this topic of anger in our life. So Ephesians chapter 4 in verse 26 and 27 says this. It says, Be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger and give no opportunity to the devil. See, most people wrongly think that the Bible teaches to never be angry, but it doesn't because it understands that you can't completely avoid emotions. You can't completely avoid disappointment and sadness and joy and anger. They're emotions that we experience, but how we respond and react are things that we can control. See, it says, it says to be angry and do not sin. And the, the unfortunate reality is generally when we experience anger, we react in something that's sinful. And maybe that's the words that come out of our mouth, the actions that we take, the text messages or emails that we shoot back, the things we say to the, the people in the community. The, the outflow of our anger is generally sinful. But that does not make the anger sinful. So the, the challenge then for us is to figure out how we navigate those moments of anger without the result of sin. And uh, something I heard recently I think is helpful. There's a difference between reacting and responding. See, a reaction is an immediate thing that is based off of emotions and feelings. When you react to something in anger, it's generally going to be sin. You might react to bad news at work or, or the, the waitress bringing your wrong order or something tragic happening. And a reaction is usually thoughtless and might be driven by sin. But a response is thoughtful. It's calculated. Responding to a difficult situation takes a moment of pausing and analyzing and thinking and going, this is what I will say. This is how I will respond. This is what I will do. And so if we as people can get to that place of responding in anger instead of reacting in anger, it can help us take that step of not sinning in those moments that we're angry. So let me encourage you today to, to look back at some previous situations. What are some, some things that angered you? What are some situations that, that boiled your blood and got you moving? And did you react or did you respond? And was the, the solution, was the action, was your course uh, of action after that moment sinful or God-honoring? And if it was a reaction, I'm probably guessing it was more on the sinful side. So let me encourage you to look back and think on those, but also challenge you to respond rather than reacting. Respond in a way that honors God, that shows love and kindness for others, that is seasoned with grace and truth rather than selfishness and anger and hatred towards others. Because it is possible for us to respond to moments that cause us anger without sinning. So today, in your anger, do not sin. Um, make it a point to show God's love and grace, even in situations that cause you anger and frustration. We'll see you next time, Calvary. Have a great day.